What's up guys, welcome back. Patreon request from Emmanuel. Another ghost, what's it called? Ghost Runner. Yeah, so this is Zoe. Very difficult character to find a picture for, Emmanuel. <laughs> but I found this image from the post credits, I think, of the first game. So, hope this is alright. She's kind of looking to the side, smiling at this dude with a tablet or something. So, landscape page, pencil eraser, Hit pause if I go too fast. Start with her eyes. Big feminine eyes on her. So, yeah, let's go. Center point here, up over to the left. Start with her top eyelid line. Curve it up. Down. We're going to go with a classic sort of female top eyelid area, right? So, very big eyelashes, dark. Right, and then she's kind of smiling, right? So her eyelid here, bottom eyelid kind of like curves up and down. And then there's like some more eyelashes here as well. So kind of like a Disney, Disney kind of character eyes, I think. That's what it reminds me of anyway. And she doesn't have a top eyelid per se, but she should, so. Just an extra line there. So she's kind of looking up and to the right, so. Iris. Curving here. And up that way. It looks like she just has black eyes, but I assume because she seems to be Spanish, sort of, or South American. I would assume they're dark brown, so we'll just put and Zoe. What's her second name? Azelia or something? I would imagine that's Spanish sort of ancestry. Right, and then eyebrows, very formed, perfect kind of eyebrows. There, red square. Get skinnier as they go down to there. Not much in the way of nose, so we just do like the bridge of her nose there. And the other eye. Just across your about eye width, right? So an eye will fit between her two eyes. And then we go for the next one. And again, very cartoon like eyelashes. Very dark in there. And then our bottom eyelid line, curving around there. Eyelashes down here too. And then you can see a bit more of her tear duct there. And her eyelid. But again, looking up, to the right, this eye isn't as smiley as the other one, but we're still looking up this way. Okay, eyebrow, so again, very square sort of formed eyebrows. And then her nose, bit of the nose line just in there. 
So she is a very small nose, right? So you don't really need to draw the bridge. We just jump down here and add nostrils. Right, and then the sides of her nose. So we may be thicken up the nostrils a little bit and add maybe like a little round sort of line for her nose there. And just tidy that up a bit. So sometimes noses can be tricky. Maybe we should see like a little bit of a bridge of her nose, maybe there, but not much. Okay, that's all you really need to do for her nose, to be honest. Maybe like a light little something here just on the side, but that's all I would do. She's a very small nose. So then, smiling line, right, underneath her eye. So we're starting there, ending there, like there, I would say. Okay, that's kind of the width. And then curving line, going up, down in the middle, back up to the other side. Then we give her top lip line. And she does have one of those lines there on her top lip. And then the bottom lip. Carves across like so. Okay. So chin round, very round, feminine face. So with female characters, like round features rather than angled is always kind of a better thing to aim for when you're drawing them. Just can help. Do, 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 do. Okay, so features of the face proportion wise eyes to nose is about the same as nose to chin like the nostrils not like this part so like eyes to nostrils bottom of the nose is about the same as bottom of nose to chin and then bottom of the nose to bottom of lip this bottom lip line about the same as bottom lip line to chin okay and then go for the jaw so slowly sort of make your way up towards the, like right underneath the corner of her eye and we'll gradually curve it from there, right? So you want it to be a little bit curved as it is. But we'll stop sort of edge of the eye there, crossing the mouth. This side is covered with hair. Um. This side's covered with hair, and we can see a bit more of this side. It's like her hair is brushed back. So we'll gradually go around the jaw area and up the side of the face. Like that. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, so... Here, her hair kind of goes behind her ear, 
right? So we can see like a little bit of her jaw, like her cheekbone, I guess, coming up this way, right? And then this is like hair basically, right? So an ear, so see like there's like some hair spikes and stuff. Just all carving out, but her ear comes out from behind this into there. And then there's like little strands of hair sticking down here. And this will eventually go all the way up. There's all hair in behind her ear, like. And then you can see like ear lines inside. So this will eventually come up to the top of her forehead. Now your forehead is about the same size as your nose, roughly speaking, right? here to here, about the same as here to here. You have this little V normally for the hairline. And then the hairline will go back around here, just like kind of lightning style. And then it'll go down the side of her head, in and around. And that'll be this sort of, fringe like area here that comes down across her face and you'll have like texture lines inside that way on the other side comes down across her eye so it'll go like down that way and then you'll have like her hairline there with some texture inside and then so we have like Lots of this sort of bumping kind of fringe areas just coming down around her face and then down this way. You just start adding sort of spikes that come in onto her face here. And then she has, she's generally short hair, but it comes it's like frames in her face, right? So you'll have, say, like the top of her head here. And it all starts to come down this way. And then there's like all these texture lines and stuff. This will go down around her ear then. Sort of here. It's like cupped in behind her ear, do you know the way? And just then all these spikes kind of. So these then go a bit longer. So this is just a, as well, a useful sort of demonstration of a classic like female face sort of, and it's kind of Disney-esque. Disney the way they drew it, whoever drew it, in the post credits for this game. I wonder if they are in a, a, like doing some freelance work for a video game company when there's no Disney movies going on, which is possible. And some textures here maybe as well. But you know, you don't have to do too much with it. Okay, neck, skinny, neck, like so. Um, I will add some like neck muscles just because it helps with visualization of things. And then trapezius, that way, that way. Anyway, she's got this big strap with her name on it on this side 
So maybe we'll do that first. We'll just do this bumping sort of line. And then it gets straight here. And it's like a utility belt kind of a thing. And there's all sort of compartments and stuff on it, but we'll just add the extra sort of edge lines and things to these. says Zoe here so we might as well and then her shoulder down that way and we can see her tank top strap arm there and this curves this way underneath the other one some edge lines and stuff to all these and your collarbones going that way collarbones usually shoot out to your um, AC joint in your shoulder so just your ball and socket joint in your shoulder there they're connected so and then this goes this way but I maybe just to be something like that so width of a female shoulder is usually narrower than a male's so it's normally like two and a half heads right like faces not like her hair the face will go across sort of once twice and maybe like half sort of see it's not like quite a head width there or there it's normally narrower but I think I'll leave it there Zoe from Ghost Runner hope it was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next one